Ben, this season is nearing a close for the Lone League, but how have you found having lots of regular football? Yeah, I thought it's been brilliant from start to finish, really. It's been, we've had a good calendar year of fixtures. All the games have been good and competitive. So how do you think you've played this season? I thought I got off to a strong start at the start of the year. I thought I was scoring, setting up goals in the regular. Just doing my thing, really, is what I've been expected of me. And then obviously towards Christmas time, I picked up that knock and then it kind of set me back a bit. But I think regarding stats and numbers and that, I'm quite happy with what I've done this year. And at the start of the season, you obviously said you scored a few goals. What's been your favourite goal you've scored? I think, obviously the Gretna one. We won 1-0, obviously because we won the game. But I think in terms of my favourite goal would be the 3-3 the three, three Gretna game away. I think with the fans and that, and then it was a good goal there. And going into that game a little bit more, what was that like when you know it's it's so close and the goals are going in left, right and centre? Yeah, obviously we were 2-0 down at half-time that day. I think we were panicking a bit because where they were and where we were, we thought well, this shouldn't happen to us. But I thought the way the game went, I thought it was a great day out. Especially playing in front of the fans is obviously it's great because then they get to see you and then they see what you're like. And then hopefully they... They see you out there someday. So, do you think that's been your favourite game so far this season, or do you think the the Celtic Park game will be? Yeah, no, the Celtic Park game should be, it should be, and it will be the, the favourite game of the season. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, everyone goes well that night. And what about Celtic as as a young team? You guys seem to have grown well together on the pitch. Yeah, it's a good group of lads. I think there's no real divide within us. I think we're all friends as well. We're a good group and we're a good team. I think we've showed that this season, where we are in the league and what we've done and the results we've gathered together. It's been a good year. And obviously you talked about that injury. How did you return to full fitness? What, what did you have to do to get yourself well again? Yeah, it was obviously a, it was a shock, the fact I had the injury in the first place because it came out of nowhere. I had no real pain in anything. It was just a random one. But to get back to full fitness, obviously I thought, the Ibrox game was a bit unrealistic at the time, but I had things to look forward to, and it was obviously busting my gut to get back for it. And you also extended your contract in December, taking you through to 2024, so that's lots of time to potentially yeah. get yourself into the first team. Yeah, I love the place. Like, I love Celtic as the club. I love everyone about it, I think. To have the privilege to be offered another three years at the time is obviously great, and the fact I have the time now to go and show everyone what I can do again is important. Um, and you're from Ballymena, that's where your family live. Do you think you've settled into Glasgow though now? Yeah, I think the boys are giving me sticks saying I'm starting to say words that they say and that. But yeah, I do miss home like every day, but I think Glasgow's a lovely city and I enjoy living in it. So let's talk about the living situation that you were in with um, Bose and Toby. How was that? Well, just <laughs> living with Toby and Boss was a, was a challenge, but yeah, I love the both of them. I've lived with Toby my whole life at Celtic. I think Toby's a top guy, top player. Big boss and obviously came in July. Yeah, and the three of us, the best mates, like it's quality, but yeah, it was, it was good living with them. Time to get out of there though? Yeah. <laughs> Who was the cook? See, the thing is, Toby, Toby, is, Toby does cook everything, but then Big Boss is the best at cooking. He's the best at it. You didn't cook at all? <laughs> <laughs> and who's been your favourite player this season to link up with on the pitch? I think Kenzie. Me and Kenzie have been playing together since we were younger, obviously. I think playing, me and him play most, the majority of the games we play together, so playing with the E-man's fun. <laughs> and who do you think's been the hardest trainer this season? Um, probably Kenzie again. Every day, he's on it, at it. And you know what you're going to get from him.